in a move aimed at strengthening Romania's defense capabilities amidst growing regional tensions, the country has signed a $920 million direct loan agreement with the United States. This agreement comes as Romania seeks to modernize its armed forces in response to the ongoing instability exacerbated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. As a member of both NATO and the European Union, Romania has become increasingly pivotal on NATO's eastern flank. Its commitment to allocating 2.5% of its GDP to defense spending underscores the country's strategic importance within the alliance. Romania's geographical proximity to the conflict in Ukraine, sharing a 650-kilometer border, has exposed it to direct threats, including the intrusion of Russian drones into its airspace over the past year. The loan agreement enables the Romanian Ministry of Defense to access $700 million for defense modernization initiatives. Meanwhile, $220 million of the loan will be directed toward Romarm, the state-owned defense company that manages 15 firms specializing in weapons and ammunition production. The funding will be used for projects ranging from the development of gunpowder to advanced guided missiles. Provided through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales FMS, program, the loan carries a 12-year repayment plan, making it a long-term commitment to enhancing Romania's defense posture. In addition to this agreement, Romania's government authorized the raising of a total of $4 billion through direct loans via the FMS mechanism in August. The country also has the potential to secure up to $8 billion from financial markets, backed by U.S. government guarantees. The loan benefits from a $60 million U.S. subsidy, aimed at reducing the cost of borrowing for Romania. U.S. Ambassador to Romania Kathleen Kavalek highlighted the significance of the agreement, pointing to the ongoing strategic shifts in Europe. She praised Romania's contributions to NATO, recognizing the country's growing role in ensuring regional security. Michael Miller, director of the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSEA, described the loan as a testament to the strength of the Romania-U.S. strategic partnership. He stressed that direct loans of this nature are reserved for key security cooperation partners and that Romania remains a top priority for the DSCA. The loan will enhance bilateral cooperation, especially in future military and modernization projects. Romanian Prime Minister Marcel Sialicu hailed the agreement as a pivotal moment in Romania's strategic partnership with the U.S. He emphasized Romania's plans to expand its military production capabilities, which will create jobs and establish the country as a significant player in regional arms manufacturing once again. The loan marks a significant step forward in Romania's military modernization program. Part of the funds will be used to acquire U.S. defense systems, including Abrams' main battle tanks. A key aspect of this initiative involves co-producing ammunition, with Romania set to establish a center of excellence for the production of large-caliber ammunition, 120 to 155 millimeters. This development will make Romania the only producer of ammunition for Abrams tanks in Europe, positioning the country for potential export opportunities across the continent and beyond. Romania's modernization plans also include the acquisition of next-generation F-35A fighter jets, which will replace the aging fleet of F-16s purchased from Norway. The purchase will include comprehensive support, ranging from pilot training and aircraft maintenance to infrastructure development and updates to electronic warfare databases. Additionally, Romania has committed to acquiring more AAV-7 amphibious vehicles from the U.S. Marine Corps as part of its broader military expansion. This loan agreement is the latest in a series of initiatives aimed at bolstering Romania's defense capabilities. The financing will not only modernize Romania's armed forces but also enable the country to make more significant contributions to NATO's collective security framework. As Europe faces a rapidly shifting strategic landscape, Romania's role as a frontline state will become even more critical. In conclusion, the $920 million direct loan agreement is a major milestone in Romania's defense modernization efforts. It reaffirms the country's strategic partnership with the United States and positions Romania as a key player in ensuring security on NATO's eastern flank.